There are fewer than 20 of these B-17 World War II airplanes in existence. And now this one has landed at the EEA Museum's Eagle Hangar. I'm Margaret Cahill in Oshkosh with more on what about this plane has aviation enthusiasts so excited. For me personally, the B-17 is my favorite aircraft, so uh, it's kind of like getting a huge birthday gift rolled up to your door. EAA Museum Manager Chris Henry says this type of aircraft played a huge role in World War II. It's perhaps the most famous out of World War II. EAA Communications Director Dick Kapinski says the plane was built in 1944, and it was one of about 12,000 built. It was a fire bomber, it was a mapping airplane, so there were a lot of things done. Now, it's one of fewer than 20. Kapinski says the plane needs maintenance before it can fly again. Uh, some of the challenges, of course, are financial. You're probably looking at a seven-figure project here by the time you're done. But instead of leaving it in a maintenance hangar, EAA brought it to the Eagle Hangar, which is open to the public. The idea is to let people get up close and personal with this plane. You can even walk under its wings. Kapinski says it'll stay there while they plan for its future. The big thing most people ask us, will it fly again? Well, all options are open right now. People love to see this airplane fly. So if there's a way to put it in the air again someday, we'll certainly do that. The public can check out this airplane in the Eagle Hangar starting Friday, and it'll be available to view during AirVenture. In Oshkosh, I'm Margaret Cahill, NBC26.